Okay, so in this video, this is going to be the first video for setting up an arm. I'm going to go through the process of setting up the joints just for the bind rig right now. What's going to actually drive the skin. So, uh, to do that, what I'm going to do is set up a quick skeleton. So making sure that I am in the rigging menu. I'm going to go down to create joints and making sure my board view. I'm going to create a joint here on the arm for the elbow and then for the wrist. So I have three uh, joint system here and then we're going to want to create a set of twist joints but before I do that I'm going to go ahead and name all of these joints so um, L underscore shoulder underscore uh, bind underscore J and T so that's going to be my naming convention. And I am going to paste that here. And one more time for the wrist. Okay, so I have everything named. Now I want to create a set of twist joints and get them positioned correctly. Um, so I'm going to need a total of six, three, four, five, six. And these joints here, if I hold shift, I can expand a whole many rather than going by one by one. I'll collapse it all or expand it all. So in this case I want to expand them all and I can select them all. Shift P that will unparent everything so that way I can set it up the way I want it to. So I'm going to select the shoulder then the elbow then the object I want to be constrained in this case that joint there and then I'm going to be going in and calling this a parent constraint. I also want to make sure that I have the maintain offsets turned off. That will allow it to shift its position, which is what I want in this situation here. I'm going to push G to repeat the previous action rather than going to the menu. And then I'm going to do that on the forearm section. Okay, so I have them all set up and they all have their own constraints here. If you click on the joint, you can get access to it there. Or if you get um, click directly on the constraint, you can get it there in the channel box over here. So I'm going to expand them just because it's easier to select that way. And because we named the joints already, we can see that the um, constraints are named by the joints. It's a little bit easier to kind of follow what's going on here. So um, the weights that we see here are um, a kind of balance. So if it's one and one, they're going to be at zero. Um, if we do 10 and 10, it's still going to be balance there right in the middle. So I'm just going to use a range between um, 0 and 1. So I'm going to do uh, 0.75 for my first one, then 0.25 for my elbow. And we can see that gets us um, a fourth of the way from this side here. So on the next one, I'm just going to do 0.5 for both. 
that's going to keep us right in the middle. Then I'm going to do 0.25 and 0.75. Oops. 0.75. Now get the last one. Then I just need to set up the joints here. So 0.25 and 0.75. Uh, let's do it the other way. Just it doesn't really matter, but that way I can keep the order the same. So I'm going to set up point five and point five here, and then. Uh, that one didn't take us to do that again. 0. 0.5. There we go. And the last one. 0. 0.25 and 0. 0.75. And we have a set of joints created. Um, I'm going to go in and select all of these constraints here and delete them. I don't want to have anything that is an extra constraint other than connecting directly to the bind joints inside of the um, rig that we have or like the control rigs that we have and you guys will see that later on but um, I want to make sure that it's parented within the chain here so, I know that these are going to go like that, and these are going to be parented in this manner, so that way we keep the order correct. Now we just need to get these into their correct place here, so that is... Oops, I don't want that there, I want it there. That looks better. And the elbow is actually going to go onto this joint. So we have one fluid chain except for the wrist not connecting into that. So we have one continuous chain here. Um, Now we have to give these names. So these are going to be our twist joints. So I'm going to call this something like upper arm twist zero one. copy that and then paste that and change this to be 0, 02 and last one this is going to be 0, 03 elbow and then this one's going to be our forearm and that's zero one. That's correct. And put that in for the rest. There we go. So we have everything named correctly. And we have the geometry, we have the bind skeleton that's connecting everything. Um, so in the next level, next lens, we will go in and look at how to do animation rigs that will control this. Um, but we'll see you in those lessons.